Imagine if you could turn the tables on cyber criminals, use their own tactics against them, protect systems and data by thinking like a hacker. Welcome to the world of ethical hacking. Today, we're embarking on a journey to master ethical hacking in just five weeks. A challenging endeavor? Certainly. But with focus, commitment, and a bit of a hacker's mindset, it's achievable. In week one, let's start by laying the groundwork. Before you can hack, you need to understand what you're working with. So, we'll focus on understanding computer systems, networks, and cybersecurity fundamentals. We'll delve into topics like the OSI model, TCP, IP protocols, network topologies, and encryption methods. We'll also explore common cybersecurity threats and attack vectors. By the end of this week, you'll have a solid foundational knowledge of computer networks and cybersecurity. By the way, if you enjoy this type of content, hit that like button. Week 2 is all about getting hands-on. We'll dive into setting up our hacking lab. It's crucial to have a safe, isolated environment to practice your hacking skills. We'll walk you through setting up a virtual machine with tools like VirtualBox or VMware. We'll install Kali Linux, a preferred OS for many ethical hackers due to its pre-installed security tools. By the end of this week, you'll have your ethical hacking lab ready for action. As we step into week 3, we're going to learn about reconnaissance. Often the first step in ethical hacking, reconnaissance involves gathering information about the target system. We'll learn how to use tools like Nmap for network scanning, Wireshark for packet analysis, and Nessus for vulnerability scanning. We'll also delve into the art of social engineering, a technique used to exploit human vulnerabilities. After this week, you'll be equipped to gather essential information about your target and identify potential weak spots. In week 4, we'll progress to system hacking. We'll explore various methods of gaining access to systems, such as brute force attacks, SQL injection, and cross-site scripting. We'll also delve into malware, what it is, how it works, and how it can be used or defended against. This week, you'll get to flex your problem-solving muscles, finding creative ways to exploit vulnerabilities discovered in the previous week. Finally, in week 5, we shift our focus to post-exploitation and covering tracks. Once a system is compromised, what can be done? We'll look at how hackers maintain access with backdoors, escalate privileges, or move laterally across the network. Covering tracks is also crucial to avoid detection, so we'll delve into techniques for log cleaning and intrusion hiding. By the end of this five-week journey, you'll have a solid foundation in ethical hacking. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Ethical hacking skills should always be used to improve system security, never for malicious intent. Of course, mastering ethical hacking is an ongoing journey. After these five weeks, continue to learn, practice, and challenge yourself. Keep up with the latest trends and techniques in the field, join online communities, engage in Capture the Flag CTF, competitions, and consider earning certifications like the Certified Ethical Hacker CHE. Remember, in the realm of cybersecurity, you're the new age superhero, armed not with superhuman strength or speed, but with knowledge, foresight, and a hacker's cunning, using your powers for the protection of the digital world. Don't forget to subscribe and happy hacking!